So it's great to be here with you at the autumn meeting. Um, my name is Julia Hanmer. I'm, um, I'm BSBI's new chief executive. I joined in April um, and I wanted to just take five minutes to just tell you a little bit more about myself. It's hard to get to know people online, but I just thought this would be an opportunity to give you a bit more about my background. So I live in London. Um, I live with my family. I've got um, two grown up daughters now, age 18 and 21. Um, but I've moved around quite a bit in the UK and Ireland um, in the past, and including uh, in my childhood, I lived for five years in Dublin, which I absolutely loved. So I'm very excited um, to be able to represent botany and wild plants and habitats in this role, and to also have the opportunity as things open up, I hope to be able to come and meet you at our events and activities in Ireland. So my career has been working in environmental NGOs and voluntary groups, um, including 18 years leading Back Conservation Trust um, through quite a lot of growth and change. So um, we developed science and monitoring programs, conservation and advocacy, um, and also a lot of outreach and engagement activities. And through that, we grew our membership and our volunteers as part of that. More recently, I have been um, on a career break. I wanted to return to my roots in conservation, um, to environmental education. And I trained up as a forest school leader um, and I was working with kids in primary schools, introducing them, connecting them to nature in their local parks so they could learn more about it and get more engaged. So I'm really delighted to have joined BSBI as the first chief executive. I started in April um, and I, I, love, I love representing such a dedicated, committed bunch of people who are so, um, have so much to offer and are doing so much um, for wild plants. And as part of my priorities in uh, my first um, year, I am... Um, getting to know the people and the organization. And as part of that, I am working on a handbook. Um, so a governance handbook, which will help the Committee for Ireland and the other bits of our organization to all be clear how the organization works, how we can join together and work together to make the most impact. And that will be an online document that we're developing. Um, I'm also working with our training and skills committee to look at the training offerings that are out there and how we can get more people um, engaged and trained in the skills needed for, um, for botany. Because um, there's huge interest, huge enthusiasm, but there's, there's not yet enough training out there. So we're looking at how we can fill those gaps. Um, and also, of course, um, representing the amazing data that you all contribute to. Um, and so we can make sure that we use that data set to influence key decisions in land management, biodiversity conservation and climate change. It's very exciting how much of an impact that can have through all the data that you collect. So it's wonderful to be here with you this morning. I'm excited by the programme of talks that we've got ahead. Um, and it's great to have this opportunity to introduce myself briefly. Um, I'm going to hand over now to Sarah Woods, who's our new fundraising manager. Hello, everyone. I'll just echo exactly what Julia said there in terms of it being great to be here today. I'm really excited for the talks. Um, I imagine fundraising manager is not the sort of headline um, title that makes you want to book for one of these uh, meetings, but it is lovely to be here with you today and to get a chance just to say hello. Similar to Julia, I started in spring this year, so we're both pretty fresh faced to the organisation, but everyone has been incredibly welcoming. Um, and uh, coming from the outside to the inside, uh, it's an incredibly exciting place to work. So I hope you uh, share that feeling when you link up with anything BSBI related, whether you're a member or whether you um, are not a member with us yet, but are joining these talks. Uh, so to give you a little bit of background around myself and what my um, job uh, remit entails, uh, fundraising manager is a new position for BSBI, uh, similar to CEO. We haven't had one before. Um, and uh, don't worry, I won't be knocking on the doors of, of people with a bucket, um, although, uh, you know, that's that's one way of doing these things. But um, essentially, uh, BSBI has doing, been doing a lot of work over the last couple of years thinking about how we go forward and what our our plan is for, for achieving our 
the aims of our organisation about um, involving more people with botany, about uh, advocating for botanists and for botany within um, the wider society and making sure that our voices are heard in all the conversations that are going on at the minute, critical to conservation and to um, the, the maintenance and improvement and uh, understanding of our native and alien species. So uh, essentially my job is to make sure that all of that happens on a good sustainable footing that means uh, any um, projects and activities we undertake we can do sustainably so that we can keep having the impact that we want to have over the long term um, and uh, uh, so that means gathering funding and support from a, a wide range of people a wide base to make sure that um, we have buy-in for what we're doing and that we are engaging as many people as possible with what we're doing um, and uh, sometimes that means especially those with nice deep pockets that mean we can have the biggest impact possible so uh, that's essentially what I'm here to do um, and fantastically for me that means working across all the different committees and teams that we have but also with the volunteers um, with our uh, the other organizations that we've worked with historically who we continue to work with and um, you know we do an amazing uh, job with so you know there's the training videos that are happening in Ireland at the minute the aquatic plant project that will involve other organizations statutory organizations private organizations um, so we can have like I was saying that biggest impact possible um, and then I guess it's about trying to translate what we do so that it can be understood by people who are outside of us too and they can understand how they can take part in it. Um, just to speak about Ireland specifically, and just to give you some nice positive good news, uh, I'm aware that not everyone on the meeting today is from Ireland, but we are speaking about Ireland in particular. So uh, we've had a real strong um, uh, movement of membership in Ireland over the last couple of years. That's been absolutely fantastic. So for each of the last five years, we've had a record year in terms of uh, new members joining in Ireland. 2021 looks like it's going to continue that trend. So that's absolutely brilliant, uh, including a really strong contingent of young botanists as well. And I think that's something that's particularly encouraging uh, to know that there's a kind of new generation um, coming through that's really keen to engage in our work and learn from generations that have gone before who have obviously put in so much groundwork in terms of BSBI. Uh, so I'm hopeful that by the end of the new year, we'll be able to say that uh, over 10% of our members are from Ireland itself. Um, and I hope if you are a member with us, or even if you aren't a member, you might have seen something that we launched, uh, launched earlier in the summer, which was our member survey, or, or um, we called it a member survey, but it's also available to be answered by non-members or former members, because we wanted to hear from as many people as possible. Uh, and we've had around 8% of our responses on that come from Ireland as well. So that's a really good representative cohort, we hope to. Um, now, that survey was designed to give people a chance to give us their feedback on what we're doing at the minute, um, feedback on your experiences of BSBI, where you've come into contact with us, um, and give you that platform to, to let us know what's working well, what perhaps we could look to do better in the future, where we should be directing ourselves because obviously as a membership organisation, uh, those views are kind of most important to us. Uh, now that one's open till the end of September, so that's next Thursday. And I would encourage any of you, if you haven't filled it out already, to take the time. Uh, it takes around five to ten minutes to fill that one out, and I'll pop the link in the chat. So um, do do that after the end of today if you can. Um, and finally, I'd just like to say a thank you to everyone who's come together to put this meeting on today, um, and for the, the commitment that you continue to show to the wild plants of um, Britain and Ireland, um, but also to everyone attending. It's fantastic and so energizing to, to know that what we're doing is having its reach and um, is, is engaging people on the level they want to be engaged with. Uh, so we've also been overwhelmed with the generosity of, of donations that people have given on signing up to today as well. So thank you for that. And I hope you enjoy all the sessions to come and um, well done on being part of this community uh, going forward. So please do share your reactions um, as it's kind of, uh, cliche to say but we are on all the social medias and we will be uh, sharing anything anyone has to say about today as well so I hope you look uh, I hope you look forward to it and hope you enjoy it and I'll hand back to Paul to kick us off <laughs>